everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Cooking with Envy. Today we have a real treat for you. I am going to do my first attempt of a homemade cheesecake with strawberry topping. Um, it does not seem like it's going to be a tedious process. So let's get, we'll just give you the basics of what we'll be um, using. Uh, we got the honey graham crackers, the butter, and the sugar for the crust itself. Then we're also going to, for the cake, we're going to use the cream cheese, the sour cream, vanilla extract, strawberries, the lemon, the eggs, and sugar. Um, also, we'll be cooking it in a spring form pan because, as you know, with a um, cheesecake, you can't turn it upside down like you would in a normal, uh, you know, a normal cake. We have to be able to let it loose like this will tighten up and this will... Um, let it loose that way we're able to lift it above um and then we'll sit it in the uh, refrigerator um cooking it it was an hour to cook it an hour to sit in the oven crack after it's turned off and then it has to sit in the refrigerator for four hours so that's the the hardest part is getting it from the from the beginning to your plate to actually eat it um uh, in the description, we'll give you the ingredients and the entire process on how to prepare it. Um, also, remember to, to like and share and notify. Ring the bell to be notified. Um, we'll see you when we get back. Subscribe also. Do not forget to subscribe to Cooking with ENV. Hey, welcome back to ENV. Um, we are now ready to start the crust for the cheesecake. Okay, it's gonna it's, it's one and a half cups of graham crackers, cr um, crumbs, which equates to about 10 graham crackers, um, five tablespoons of the um, butter, melted butter, and we're gonna do a quarter cup of sugar. So in order in order to get the graham crackers on fine, I am going to use the Ninja, a small Ninja food processor, okay? Food cutter, vegetable cutter, whatever you want to use it for, okay? So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to break it up and get them in there. Let's see. Guess what? Look at that. We got that one done. I'm going to pour it in there. Do it again. Now, I'm not going to grab that last one right now because I do see inside when I, um... When I had, um, from the other ones, there are some parts that didn't, um, go, so I'm going to put this one in here. And I guess I could have just poured it all in there. So you don't lose any. Let me get a spoon. Babe, what you think? You think I'm about to make a mess then? Yeah, it looks like <laughs> Y'all ought to see him. Use your sugar spoon, okay? You ought to see how he is when I when I have a knife. He said I make him nervous. Why is that, babe? Uh, your, your knife handling <laughs> techniques been sharpened up a little bit. <laughs> you get it on there. So I'm going to put it all in there with that one. Whoa! 
What do y'all think? Y'all think it's enough? Let's see. Y'all, we done did it. There it go, nice and fine. What do you think, guys? Let me show y'all. See? Nice and fine. No pieces, no um, larger size pieces. It's just nice and fine. Okay? And so, what we're going to do next, we're going to add the quarter cup of sugar. And then... We're going to pour in the five tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm going to just stir it up. Actually, I'm going to use a fork to mash this all together. Y'all can see what I'm, can y'all see what I'm doing? Baby, that one tablespoon of butter, can you go melt that? I think I'm going to add one more um, tablespoon of butter. To my liking. Because we're going to have to mash this in the pan. Eric is um, melting that last um, tablespoon of butter for me. And we are using, this is a nine inch spring form pan. We're, once we get it all in here, Baby, you want to come bring it around and pour it in for me? Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be good. And we're going to actually bake this for like eight minutes and set it aside once it's done. Just making sure this butter is mixing up with the crumbs pretty good. Okay. Eric has the oven all set for me. Now what we're going to do, we got it all. Now the crust it's going to be, uh, before you put it in there, it is going to be sandy. Like, it's not going to be all sticky right now. It's going to be probably like beach sand, and that's why um, it's like that. Once you get it in the pan, it will, um, you start mashing it together. We got some more stuff in there. We getting all of this. Now what you do, we're going to take the bottom of this measuring cup right here, and guess what we're going to do? We're going to mash it in here real good. Since it got the rounded edges, this measuring cup will work perfectly. I don't know if y'all can see how. 
how that saw. I'm going to mash them in real good. And you can always move it over a little bit to make sure the crust is even. You do not need to oil the pan or grease the pan. Remember, you got butter in this crust already. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it in the oven for eight minutes. Once it gets done, we'll come back and we'll start working on the cheesecake itself. See you in a little bit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And to make sure you hit that. Hey, welcome back to Cooking in V. We're going to continue this process of creating our cheesecake. After we cut off from the um, making the crust, we, me and Eric decided let's do something different. So we added crushed pecans or pecans, depending on where you're from. Okay, pecan, pecan, um, in there and we toasted it as we baked it. So I think this will be an awesome addition with the cheesecake um, being cooked on top of this as the crust. Okay, as we begin this process for the um, cheesecake itself, we're gonna add four eight ounce packaging of cream cheese. Okay, I'm gonna get all of this out. Maybe you want to get a spoon of help. Yeah, you're doing good, huh? <laughs> You'll start tearing one open for me. Okay, what's very important also as we do this, make sure all the ingredients are at room temperature. Y'all, it's coming together. It's coming together. Okay. Let me do that one. Thank you, dear. There we go. There we go. Shoot. I'm sorry, y'all. Because we got it at room temperature, it is um, like kind of melted and sticking to the um, foil that it um, comes in. <laughs> We're going to mix that with the sugar. One cup of sugar. Also. 
oh, I bet this is going to um, be really, really good. I'm going to stop it for a minute just so I can um, scrape these sides. Make sure everything is thoroughly mixed. Now as it's mixing, we're going to use one cup of um, the sour cream. This is eight ounces, so this is just one entire cup, so I can put the, this is one cup, so I can put the entire um, package in here. Once again, make sure all the ingredients are at room temperature. tablespoon of the vanilla. And we're going to do two tablespoons of lemon juice. Scrape the sides. Oh, this looks so good. Nice and creamy. Next, we're going to add the eggs one at a time. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to just let it beat just for a little while. We can't, um, right until this egg is beat up, right about now, we're actually going to stop it. And then we're gonna, when we come back, we're going to let you see as I um, put it into the pan. We are back. We are ready now. We are now ready to um, pour our cheesecake. Let me tell y'all, I done did a little taste test. It is very, very good. So we're going to pour it on top of the pecan graham cracker crust. Look at this, y'all. Look at the creaminess of this. I'm not gonna mess with it too much because you don't want to you just want to kind of even it out in there you don't want to create air pockets or anything like that in it okay. 
this. Let's get as much as we can from out of here. I'm going to sit this off to the side and I'm going to do this. Okay, got it settled. Now, the process for baking it, we're going to do a process called the water bath. Okay, the moisture will help, help, help with maintaining the moisture of the um, cheesecake once it is cooking. So what we need to do, I'm going to pull this over just a bit. Yes, y'all can still see that. Okay. We're going to take this foil and we're going to sit it in the pan just like this. Okay. Can y'all see that? Let me show you the pan. That's the pan. It is an oven proof pan. Okay. Put it in here. And then we're going to sit the cake the cheesecake pan in here okay and we're gonna wrap it up in here like this and also in case um, since it is a spring form pan in case it do come out a little bit at the um come out a little bit it's not gonna come out in the pan It'll still be, it'll still maintain. So Eric is going to assist me with pouring the hot water around the edge of the pan. Make sure it don't get in there. It may get on the um, counter, but that's fine. Just making sure it's coming all around here. It's just barely coming up on this end. And that is about enough right there. We're going to sit this in a 350 degree oven. Um, it's going to 60 to 70 minutes. Okay. Once it is. Once it is. Done with the 60 to 70 minutes. We're going to let it. We're gonna open, turn the oven off, crack the oven, and then let it sit there and cool down in there for one hour. Once we pull it from out of there, we're gonna sit it in the refrigerator for four hours. In the process, in the process, while it's going through all that, we're gonna prepare the strawberries. We're gonna make the strawberry um, mixture, just something simple just simple strawberries and sugar just the strawberries and sugar um whatever else we may put some vanilla extract in it you know we may think of something else to throw in there we got you know we got some rum extract that we may throw in there we'll see how it tastes and then um we'll be back later on this well actually we'll be back once it's done and then we'll um put it in the refrigerator and come back after the four hours but um we'll see you in about 70 minutes this is the cheesecake after it came from out of the oven we cooked it on 350 for an hour and five minutes then we turned the oven off cracked the oven door and let it sit in there for another hour now we pulled it out and then now we got to get down to we got to let it sit out for, um, to room temperature once it gets down to room temperature we're going to put it in the refrigerator um, for four hours then it'll be ready to eat now in the in the meantime um, Eric and I have already prepared our strawberries with the sugar we even add a little something something in it to, uh, <laughs> along with some vanilla extract and it tastes wonderful um, we'll be back later with the finished product. Is that cheesecake I see underneath that? Yes, it is. This is our final result. Oh Look at my that. God. Yes. You can see that graham cracker crust. 
the cheesecake itself has set just right. If you all could taste the strawberry topping that the little something something was put in, it it looks really, really good. I am very pleased with myself on this cheesecake. Once again, the uh, recipe will be put in the description. Don't forget to like and share. Press that bell to receive notifications. And also, please subscribe to Cooking with EMV. Until the next video, take it away, Val. Good night. We love you all.